Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. Today we're gonna talk about the most common, the most versatile roller bearing. It is the taper roller bearing. The name of tapered roller bearing comes from that there is rollers, of course, and if you can see in the angle, these rollers are not straight, but they are they are at an angle, and this is why it's called we call it tapered. So it's a tapered roller bearing. Now, a, ta a, a typical tapered roller bearing consists of an outer race, which we call normally the cup, and this is called the cone. Now, if we look at the cone, now it's have rollers. It's have a cage, usually it's a pressed steel cage, and then in a race. Some, some application, they, there you can find some taper rollers with a polymade cage, but the most common, it's a pressed steel cage. Now, what makes taper roller bearing very interesting is the loads. Now, we know ball bearings um, are also very common, very versatile, but usually taper roller bearing can take much more loads compared to a ball bearing as it is, at the load is distributed on a line on the rollers rather than a point on a board. Um, it can take much higher axial load and a radial load and an axial load. Now, what makes taper roller bearing a little bit special, it's that can take roller bear, like axial load on only one direction. Oops. On one direction. So if the load is going this side, this direction, there is no problem. But if the load going on the other side, this is why it's normally um, installed in pairs. So you will have two pairs, maybe not in this different size, but two pairs attached to each other to take the axial load on both directions. Now, um, if you look at, this is a common application, trucks, trailers, earth movers, construction, gearboxes, industrial or automotive. These are the most common because this is where we need high load and moderate speed. Um, then I think it's worth to mention that taper roller bearing comes in metric and imperial sizes. So normally the metric will start with the number three. So you have three, zero, two, zero, five. You have three, two, two, one, seven, and so on. And the inch type usually it start, it's having two number, can start with any number, but like one, one, nine, four, nine, slash, uh, 10 uh, and so on. So this is about taper roller bearing. Thank you for today. Subscribe and see you next time.